Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. I've gone through the gutter again here a little bit. I believe I have gotten all of the torch lit, torches lit, except for this one. I think that's or these two. These three. Um, the ones up here, I think, are the last ones to be lit. But um, I was able to come all along through here this way, and uh, we didn't get what was in here. I also got a number of items. Wicked Eyed Great Shield. Um, I got a number of items um, just so when I was leveling up, I talked to the blacksmith and he gave me his hammer. An ordinary hammer used by a blacksmith can be used as a hammer, but not to any great effect, as it was made to shape weapons, not serve as one. Um, I also elected to go with this, and uh, I'm not really using sorcery anymore, but that'll be nice. Um, and I went back to the buckler here. But uh, the Wicked Eye Great Shield, a, a great shield with an unsettling design, covered in the prints of countless hands. The true origin of the shield is unknown. No amount of polishing could clear its face and the mysterious handprints uh, HP absorbed. I think it was just one that won the contest uh, for people. I don't know if it has any lore implication, but it's cool. We'll look at it in the light, so. Um, and, uh, what else did we get here? I think that might be it, actually. So let us, um, we'll look at this. Come on, there we go. It's a pretty cool design. I mean, really... Well, you know, there should be a uh, there should be a episode where you look at every weapon and everything. I don't know if that's all that exciting, but there's some cool designs, especially in this game. All right, let's see what this does, because I I know that it does. If you light them all, it does uh, get you invaded. I missed some. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I don't think it's going to be the... Uh, missed because uh, I, I just spent a lot of time around here and I don't think I missed anything got those got those up on top oh there's one down here isn't there Or did I like that? Threw one on a median ledge? Oh my god, that's so dirty. So I guess the person invades down here. So... <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. So is there, I, mean, I suppose, ugh, oh, glad I didn't get actually hurt by that, by the fall that is. Here's another one. I just realized that um, 
that noise from the other day that you can probably hear now that I didn't realize what it was was the new automatic cat feeder that I bought for my cats <laughs> here I am like what the heck is that okay so there's one there oh this is tedious Hopefully it gives us a good item. Okay, there's one there too. Although I'm gonna maybe, is that, yeah, it's up to the top, so. So. Uh oh. That sucks. Huh. Can you get up there? Oh, there's an item. So yeah, I don't know where the guy invades or what it what it is or whatever. So, um, oh, the great club. Don't think that has a lot of lore, but design smash foes. It's a branch from a tree. All right, well, let's see if we can go up to the top. through here I guess and then we will uh, go get Havel stuff glad there's a way back up to the top <clears throat> Where did I last rest? I think at the beginning. That's fine. Okay, so we're just gonna, unless he's here, like he invades. Oh, is there one like up on top? Ugh. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why. But, we're going to go and get Havel stuff now. Uh, although I kind of ruined the surprise for those who hadn't seen. It is possible that there's like one in here. But yeah, we use the forgotten key here. Oh gosh. There used to be a chest in here, and now there's just a pot. Is this Havel's stuff? <laughs> okay, same thing, just remove the chest. A helm as if hewn from a giant boulder offers stupendous defense but weighs a ton. The origin of the name Havel is not clear. Some say it was the warrior who wore the armor, but others say that it was the name of a great kingdom ruined by in a barbaric war. Um, I mean, I mean, I have definitely, um, questioned the origins of, like, Havel. He has people that fight with him, and they're called Havel Knights, so I don't think Havel has necessarily, um, got every, uh, a bunch of special things about him, I think, you know. Um, solid as a rock, the shield offers incredible defense. So heavy, in fact, that he who takes it into battle is not allowed to flee until he or his opponent has fallen. Okay. Well, um, 
All right. Let us go back and cover a couple of things. Let's go to uh, the Shaded Ruins. How many friggin' branches of yore do we have? I did have a, a lot of souls, but I don't really care. Alright. Um, how many friggin' branches of yore? Because we might want to start using them in, in this area now. Also, uh... I learned where Ben Girl's body is. Look at me, I actually did some research for once. Um, okay, so we're gonna go down here. Um, does he follow me? As I mentioned in a previous episode, when he said kill my creator or whatever, or create, create my betrothed, we were supposed to kill the Dukes der Freja. Also, it's, it starts to imply strongly that Seath was the one that created this and that he was telling us to kill Seath, which was what we did when we killed Freja. I don't know, it's a little confusing. I don't know, maybe it's not confusing, maybe it's clear and it's not the narrative that I want, but <laughs> um, to me I feel like it's a little bit unclear as to who's who and what's what and whatever, so. What skill. You've defeated my master. But our master never dies, and he changes form so that he may seethe for all eternity. Seethe. Jesus. Brave human, you have yet to face your greatest perils. Take these. May joy await you at the end of your travels. So we get the Black Scorpion Singer and the second Dragon Ring. I have no gods to pray to. But still, I pray that your journey will be safe. I have no gods, but still... Uh, and we'll fight him later. Um... Because we're gonna kill everything. Um, I feel like there's way more NPCs in this game than they're in in uh, Dark Souls One. But so we get the Black Scorpion Stinger, Man Scorpion Tark's thrusting sword. The Scorpion Pincer Guard contains poison, which is injected into foes pierced by the blade. Tark's past is a thing obscure. But then again, do any of us know who we are? Let alone what we may have been. Hmm. Uh, and then he gave us the second dragon ring, which I'm sure has the same description, yeah. Alright, and so now we'll come through here and we'll use this, and of course we will, uh... Oh. Uh, wow. Well, a lot of poise. Uh, apparently this is one where Vengarl was moved to, so... There used to be like a king lion here, but I guess... Wow. Almost 12,000 damage. He's got no poise, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, there is Vengarl's body. So we can get the Vengarl set. And I think, you know, since we have, whatever. Armor of the Ferocious Vengarl. Ferocious Vengarl was known as a raging, deadly warrior. Even Ferocious Lion Knights, a motley crew of rabid fighters, kept him at arm's length. Arms length. This is a little confusing because I think these lion warriors that were that are here are from Hugo, and Ferocious has something called Lion Knights, but they're human. 
So I think it's a little bit confusing. Uh, I could be wrong, however. And then, yeah, there's yet another one here. So I suppose let's use it and we'll see what happens. Like, I don't need any more fragment branches of yours, so I suppose, like... Wow, they have um, infinite poise or something. Oops. Um, so, like, I'll just use them where I see fit, and... Yeah. I mean, I can still buy some if I need one. Um, but I mean, as far as I know, ooh, Cyan Knight. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, Sublime Bone does. I was gonna say, you know, for two fragrant branches of yore, they better be hiding some good stuff around here. So I definitely like the Sublime Bone Dust. I will use that right away. Black Knight Halberd. I'm not even going to read it. Okay, that was awesome. At this point, I don't really need a ton of souls, so we're just going to eat, eat these losses. Uh, but I'm going to try to free some of these other guys. I don't know how many more French batches I have, I guess, but... Um, we'll see how many... how far these guys chase me. Oh, I did, I did do that guy. Okay, well. Does that kill him in one? Okay, good. We can just do that then. I feel like there was one in here we didn't do. So yeah, the, I think the like clan leader was here. Lion Clan Shield. Yeah, we can read this to see if they're from Ferosa or not. Oh yeah, there's this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. But first... Shield used by the Lion Clan warriors, made of wood but reinforced with metal, light yet sturdy. The design of the shield appears to have some religious significance, but we will never know what sort of gods these warriors answer to. Well, there's a lot of lion imagery in Dark Souls, and like the first one with Ornstein and such. So will it, like an item appear on this corpse after he like moves? Like, what are, what are we doing this for? Warlock mask? What's that? <laughs> I don't know what that is at all. Oh, it's like the Rowena one. Aldia, uh, strange mask worn by Aldia Warlocks grants dark defense, increases soul acquisition. Warlocks in Aldia gave rise to wicked things and even cast forbidden rituals upon themselves. No one knows if they were born mad or if their own misdeeds drove them off the edge. Uh, so yeah, we uh, we definitely saw those guys uh, once we got the key. Um, and I believe that's all the fragrant branches of you are here. Um, so... Alright, next thing on the list. This guy. Okay, did a great job avoiding that. Oh yeah, Iron Keep. Ugh. Can't 
lock on this guy. I keep forgetting. Okay, get out of here. Alright, let's go to the Iron Keep. And we'll talk to Magarold. of stuff here. We actually don't have a ton of stuff. This is good. Um, although I fear that the next couple episodes might take me a while because I do... Ooh! This guy's gone. Why is that? I mean, is that because I beat him enough times? There's this guy. Some of those are really quick, so... Alright. Let's talk to this fool. What is that? A petrified egg? Mm. Controller on your lap. What is that? A petrified egg from the shrine. Fantastic. I brought it back for you. My, my, my give it to me. Sorry, I just attacked you just then. I'm fascinated by it. I'm begging you. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Oh, very kind of you. Could it be a dragon egg? Yeah, probably. Oh, I feel invigorated just by holding it. Good. Well, you again. There we go. Dragon Covenant. Ancient Dragon Seal and the Dragon Eye. And we can even offer a Dragon Scale if that makes him say anything. Nope. There's good iron in these parts. Yeah, we well, talked to him about that before. Uh, hey, you know that old fella with the Hulk and blue sword? Yes. He talks really oily a bit. I got a feeling it's a fake. Okay. I didn't want to disappoint him, so I just sort of talked around it. So. Let me just say, there are lots of legendary swords out there. Ben Hart was in the Iron Keep, which is interesting. I th we got that before, but I, I definitely wanted to play that again now that we knew Ben Hart and whatever, and that he says it's his great sword and all this stuff, because some people think it's fake, some people think it's real. I think uh, Moglin even weighs in on it, but I, I haven't been able to find that uh, dialogue. Uh, so yeah, I think we're good with this. Let us read what he gave us. So he gave us a ring. Uh, Ancient Dragon. Ring of the Dragon Remnants Covenant slightly increases Estus Flask HP recovery. Possessing a dragon scale is proof of its owner's prowess. Strength should always be displayed boldly and meted out justly. Uh, members of the Covenant who bear dragon scales can fight with one another. The survivor of the duel claims the dragon scale of the opponent. So yeah, it's another PvP Covenant. Uh, and then we got the uh, Dragon Eye. Uh, invade the world with a dragon scale to claim the scale of from its master. If our human flesh is our greatest weakness, then those who seek the form, a form that imitates the ancient dragons, are the true vanguard. All right. We don't have a ton of stuff here. Um, we have two, well, three things we could do right now. Okay, 
so I'm going to go... I guess I'll go back and I'll try to kill Lycia. So the nameless um, usurper, what is her name? That invader that uh, invades us in like Drang Lake Castle and uh, whatever. She's the one, it's Lycia of Lindelt that we talked to uh, who moved the path for us. Um, so, in the Undead Crypt, we got the, uh, we got the, uh, what do you call it, Cracked Eye, and we can go and invade and get her stuff, but she's quite difficult, um, just because it's, as I kind of mentioned earlier, it's kind of like a war of attrition. She keeps healing, she keeps healing, and then she has these really powerful spells. So, uh, I'm gonna attempt to do this. I mean, I could also try to kill her here, um, but we might as well, like, warp into her world. Uh, I guess let me put it in here, just in case this becomes a thing, which it probably will be. Alright. Curses. Puzzled me out, have you? <laughs> At least now I can finish you off guilt free. <laughs> She's got a decent amount of health, she constantly heals, and she has these like of areas of effect. Or like you know <laughs> this will be funny if I just kill her in like four hits. Yeah, she has that, the I guess that's the Wrath of the Gods or whatever. It's just like, just so annoying. Okay, good. Now she's gonna immediately heal, which I guess is good because we can like, yeah, good, okay. Wow, so we get the Rotunda Lockstone, Soothing Sunlight Miracle, her chime, all of her stuff. All right. Well, either they made that a little bit better, or I just conflated that to be worse than it was going to be. Let's read all the stuff. So first of all, we get the Rotunda um, key. I guess not first of all. What else did she give us? All that. So the Idols Chime. Sacred Chime of Lycia of Lindelt, a catalyst for miracles and hexes. In any town, there will be a few folk with unusual urges. They either endeavor to resist these urges or act upon them out of the view of others. The world is not so welcoming. They, uh, the world is not so welcoming. They may bear their souls true. Okay, that's a sentence. Hood worn by miracle casting clerics grants. Slight increase to spell uses belong to Lycia of Lindelt. So I think we actually got this set before, but this is just... Okay, while it's true Lycia dedicated herself to miracles, it's rare for anyone to pass uh, through life without trouble. Even clerics aren't always who they seem to be. So I guess, th I guess Lycia is supposed to analog Petrus, which, I don't know, is not that interesting. Uh, and so then she had Soothing Sunlight, which is a Guinevere miracle. This miracle, once kept by the Lindelt Monastery, was stolen and never recovered. Ooh, so she stole this. I mean, potentially she stole it. I guess we can't 100% say it for sure. And then the Rotunda Lockstone moves the Majula Rotunda. A stone which rotates the Majula Rotunda. Insert into the center pillar to align the Rotunda a different passageway nothing magical about it but a fine feat of engineering so you know she mentions that you know you need miracles and faith to move this uh, and then she puts her hand on your I, I don't know some people make a big deal out of that I don't think it's all I mean she she might have just been saying oh like I'm a miracle worker and I have the key so I don't know Okay, so we have that. 
Um, fight the sea is done. Um, light all the things. Oh, rise of the dead. Uh, so yeah, we have to die again. Like Navlon's storyline. This isn't really a storyline, but it's a, a thing we can do. Um, I don't really know if it's gonna be all that interesting, but we're gonna go visit it. Okay. So, Rise of the Dead. So, I thought this might have been a covenant, but I don't know if it is actually. But yeah, there's a door up here, and it's locked unless you're hollowed, and then you can open it. There's these... Crawling... Hollows here, and then there should be like a Rowena... I guess a Warlock is their name. It's kind of cool, you can see. Okay, no, that looks like they have a pyromancer. Oh, wow, you can travel far there. Okay, good job, pyromancer. Used to be a, like a warlock here that would fire at you. But yeah, there's this flaming thing in here which you can pray to. It's got two uh, two people joined kind of at the neck. Wait. That thing has four arms. Cool. So we have this person here. Let's uh, run down here. So as I say, I think that... Uh, oh, there's another Pyromancer. So wait, is that warmth? Oh no, it is like near flame. Oh my dear lord. Still... Oh my god, is there two? Yeah. Um, still not as bad as Jester Tom. Oh my gosh. Jester Thomas is... We fight in Shulva. And he's, uh... I guess we to go back to the... shot me. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, great. Actually, yeah, that means that I'm gonna slow it all. Um, wow, these guys are terrible. Wow. Well, that was different. Did they curse me? Oh, no, I died to get in here. Uh, okay, so, yeah, let's uh, just replace this with this for temporary. And we can get rid of all of these. Fire seed. Okay, well, now that makes more sense. I think that was a fire seed originally. But now that there's all these uh, pyromancers, that makes sense. And that's where we fought like the million, the million like clerics and archdrakes and stuff. 
Yeah, here's something over here. I don't think this, they wouldn't be so cruel to make this a mimic. More bonfire aesthetics. Um, and I don't know if there's a, an item on this side. There probably is, yeah, here, I remember something in, in the, in a cubby here. Manslayer. Yeah, this is a katana. A katana with a terribly worn blade. Appears useless, but in fact is coated with poison. This sword has claimed countless victims, and the blood stains upon its blade have turned to poison. Alright, I think that's all from here. And so we can go talk to this lady now. Finito, I like to. F um, so, yeah, so I guess we said, What's your name? Which seems to be like a thing that we ask people, but I don't know if people give us their name all the time. But they don't have any individual names. They are Milfinito. We sing eternally for those who bear death and dark within themselves. We know this. We have been here forever. Mm -hmm. We know nothing of the outside world. And we do not need to. That's probably true. The little ones were born from the great dead one. Aha! And the great dead one taught us song. Aha! We have sung ever since. To comfort those bound by death and dark. I guess the song they sing might be similar to... We were taught. To Nito's kind of song. Like the boss music, I guess. We hear a song in the distance. You rescued a Milfinita who was taken from us. Okay, yeah. Take this. We Milfinito thank you. Fire seed. Don't need it. You silenced that cursed singing. Demo song. Please accept these as a thank you. Thank you is hyphenated there. That's weird. Find blessing. So maybe these have origins in Guinevere. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know that there is a complete rhyme or reason for some of the items here. Although at the same time, like, I mean, it's eons past. There's unassociations. There's just things in the world. I don't know how there's so many divine blessings in this realm. Like, how they survived. But, um, it's interesting. Do you see comfort, too? You poor thing. This, at the very least. She's giving us all this stuff. This is all that we can do. Okay. The little ones. And okay. This is what. Uh, and then when you pray to this, uh, in this case, nothing will happen. But um, what the, what happens with this is that if you are hollowed or non-human, and you have no human effigies, and you have no human effigies in your box. If you like, I mean, I guess you could drop them on the ground and then do it, and then, I mean, I suppose I could have even tested that. But if you have absolutely no human effigies and you're not human, you can come and pray this, pray to this thing, and it will make you human. Which is interesting that in the rise of the dead, you can come and become uh, human. Uh, it's, I think, it's a way to kind of like curve off the, you know, the fact that there are limited. Uh, effigies in this game. I don't think you can farm them. At the same time, it's like terribly inconvenient in actuality. Um, if you were to like, you know, <laughs> try to become human to do something, like you have to come to this bonfire, go through all the enemies, and then become human and come back. I don't know, it's not very practical. So, 
I mean, for all the things that we're going to do, the only thing left that we can do here is go attempt to um, use the iron key. And I'm not making any promises, because this can be a little bit... Oh yeah, okay, that's interesting. So the thing we saw in the Undead Crypt with its arms outstretched is here. I'm I swear I'm going to make a uh, I'm going to make a uh, a statue video. It's not what everyone wanted, but it's what everyone needs. So yeah, um, basically, um, there's all these fire lizards that are down here, and we can get access to them. What the? Oh, come on, Cell Sword Lewitt. Can I enter this fog, for example? Oh, I probably can, and I'll just send them home, but it won't be like there's a boss. Alright, so apparently this door was in the Iron Keep, which I think is kind of unbelievable to me because it looks like it's wood. But they repurposed it here and, oh my god. Okay, so they... Alright. Hold on a second. It looks like they've added flame to, the, like, the ground. So... Oh, and I didn't repair my thing. Uh, we're definitely gonna... Put a flame card string plus two on. Oh my gosh. I didn't see him. <laughs> I thought there was someone shooting me. Okay, so these guys aren't that bad anymore. These used to be like a million HP and like, well, they're pretty bad. don't hurt as much. Oh, come on. Okay. That's the way up. So yeah, we're just gonna take these guys out. This is totally doable. <laughs> they were quite a, a menace earlier, and it looked <laughs> like for a moment that this would cause you to take damage, but I guess it doesn't. But yeah, very, very early on in the game, we had a, uh, ooh, heavy iron key. Oh, is that the thing for the DLC for a broom tower? And Rebel's Great Shield. Anyway, there was there was a guy shooting at us here, and uh, you know we kind of ran by him. This is where you can kill him. Cool. Okay, so um, I'll read this stuff later because Cell Sword Lewitt is a uh, temporary. So let's use him while we have him. Hopefully, this will be. Oh, oh my dear lord. I took no damage during that exchange, I'm not sure why. I guess I should attempt at healing here. Clear this out. Great. Almost got hit by every one of those. So you can see here that the fire disappears once we kill them. 
and sell sword though it leaves, which is good. Uh, I will mention that, oh, flame cards ring plus one, great, yeah, we really need that. I will mention that there was like half as many of these uh, and then in the original game. Um, There was like three down there, and I think there was three up here. Ooh, the hawk ring somehow is up here. All right, well, let's read everything we got. Uh, first of all, we got the heavy iron key. A piece of iron key shaped like a piece of iron shaped like a key. Past the altar deep within the Iron Keep and through a door is the tower that the old Iron King used to produce iron. The unearthly weight of this chunk of iron is a reminder of the Iron King's own immeasurable strength. Um, what else did we get? Flame Quartz Ring, the Hawk Ring. That's the first, um, Ring of the Knights of Gwyn that we've gotten in this game. Are the rest in this game? A ring graced with the engraving of a hawk extends range of arrows. Blue eyed Durgo, a nomadic bowman, had many a valiant victory in battle, half owing to the boon of this this ring. Um do we get anything else? This rebel's great shield. Raim and Velstat were known as the left and right arms of the king until their wills clashed, and Raim was deemed a traitor. The Black Raven is despised as an augur of death, but was Raim's favorite bird. So, um, yeah, Raim and Velstat are uh, brothers, by the way. Um, we'll probably learn that later. And they both worked for King Vendrick. They both were loyal to him. Um, but Raim and Velstad got into a, a battle, a problem, and Raim was um, kind of exiled. Um, and uh, apparently he uh, got associated with Velka in some way. The Black Raven is his favorite bird. I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, we read the Manslayer and all that stuff. Oh, okay, I think you die instantly if you go in there. Um, all right. Well, that's fun. And I think that will do it for this. Uh, loose ends video. Uh, the next video, we're going to go into the memories and see what we can do with that. So, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.